that is typical of the eggs that we're getting from our hens each day. About half a dozen eggs each day at the moment. Now we've had one or two problems recently with some of the shells on the eggs. Indeed it's the, fact, the problem is that actually we haven't been getting some shells on some of the eggs that have been laid recently. We've had two of our hens laid completely shellless eggs. Now we know that's caused by a lack of calcium in their diet. Now we're not quite sure why they haven't been eating the grit that we've been giving them. We've been giving them plenty in a bowl in the chicken run and most of the hens have been touching it, been eating it, that's fine, they haven't had a problem but two of them have. And to add to the problems we had that laid recently, that's the size of a normal egg. Again a very small egg like that can be caused by a temporary lack of grit in their diet. So what we've been doing to make sure that they have been getting their calcium is to be adding some poultry spice to their mash that we give them every day. Now this is 25% calcium so one teaspoon of that into the mash is giving them the calcium that they need. But a lot of the other allotment holders in the area who have, be, have kept hens in the past have advised me to give them their eggshells feed them their eggshells. Now the reason I've been reluctant to do this up to now is because giving them the shells, and uh, here's some I prepared earlier, uh, giving them their shells I thought might actually encourage the hens to eat their own eggs, which is the last thing I want them to do. But viewers have been writing in and saying that's a bit of a myth. Give them their eggshells because they are a very good source of calcium. But what you do is you roast these up like that in the oven until they're nice and brittle, put them in a pestle and mortar and then you turn them into a powder, something like that. And then you add a teaspoon of that into a mash. It's only a small minority of the eggs that, we've, that have been produced recently that have been a bit of a problem for us. Now remember that uh, little weenie egg I showed you a moment ago. Well how about that? And that was laid yesterday. Just compare the two. That is absolutely enormous. Now to give you a better idea of what it should be like, that is a normal size egg and that it's bigger I reckon than a goose egg. Now it's almost certainly a double yoker and the hen that lays that one tends to lay rather large eggs anyway. She's our best layer, she lays nearly every day as well. But uh, just to compare the two again, that is almost certainly not got a yolk in it. That almost certainly a double yoker. Anyway, the mash is made and I'm about to go off and make sure that the hens are fed. And uh, as I say, all the problems that we've had recently with the shellless eggs and those very small eggs have now cleared up because they're getting that extra calcium in their diet. Okay girls, here you go. 